You're going to kill it on this one. I can feel it. This is going to be the best one yet. Uh, citizens of the Reject Nation, how's it going, people? It's time for another feature film reaction, an animated feature today. We are going to check out Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. And in the co-host seat, surprise, surprise, it's Roxy Stryer. A big surprise. A big surprise. I thought you guys I didn't want me back. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. And, there, and, and yet, here we both are. Wait, why weren't you supposed to be here? I wasn't supposed to be here. How did either of us get here today? <laughs> either way, we're here now. I've only seen the Shrek movies, so I am going in very cold. You are an expert, no? Yeah, no, I have loved Puss in Boots since last night at one in the morning. Killing I, it. Yeah, big expert. I did just watch the first one. It was really cute. Okay. It was. They did a good job with it. I'm curious what The Last Wish means. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, usually I, I feel like that's not associated with cats. That's it's going to be ambiguous. They're not going to explain it. Oh, You're on social media, right? Oh, yeah. Roxy Stryer, keeping it simple for the kids. Yeah. The and world the world girls. girls. Yeah. Go give the world girls some love. Subscribe. Hit notification bells for them, for us, for this channel. Leave a like on this video. And hey, guys. If you want to see the full experience with all the stuff that doesn't make it to the reaction highlights, come on over to patreon.com slash the real rejects. Sync up with your own copy of Puss in Boots Last Wish and join us for the adventure. Roxy, is there anything else you want to tell the people before we get to business? You really emphasize Puss in Boots. Whoa. That's new for you? I've not seen this DreamWorks bumper. Hey, <laughs> they put the bad guys in there. And dragons. And skadoosh. Skadoosh. That's what Kung Fu Panda says. Oh. Boss baby. Trolls. What's up, Erica? My friend works on trolls. Oh, hi, Erica. <laughs> Would you rather be the moon or the boy? Uh, I want to be the boy chilling with the moon. Cool. You know? I got to think, think for moons. <laughs> I'm a lunar kind of guy, you know? Oh, I'm a solar girl. That's good. Balance each other out. You're, you're a world night. girl. Star point. bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have this wish. I wish tonight. The last wish. The titular <laughs> wish. <laughs> that was also the best ASMR I've had in a while. That's good. A wishing star fell from the sky into Super Mario World. And the legend of a single wish locked away in the star, waiting to be granted. Oh, man. This is going to be like the end of Thor Love and Thunder. Everyone's favorite Thor movie. Why, you think there's a kid? <laughs> yeah, he's going to wish for <laughs> his dead kid to come back. <laughs> Very kid-friendly. Kids love that. <laughs> Hey, hola amigo, good to see you again. Oh, he has his boots back. Hey, don't you lose him? I know this girl like took him for a sec. Girl cat. She was just puss and bare feet? Yeah, but it was kind of a sexy move of hers. She was like, I've got your boots. From Puss in Boots. Pussy. <laughs> nah, I couldn't possibly. <laughs> yeah, sure you can. Who is your favorite fearless <laughs> hero? I should know this, but who's voicing Puss? It's Antonio Banderas. It's Tony Flags, man. You think he's singing? Yes. I'm going to say yes for now. I think he's got the pipes. That is based on nothing other than he's a dreamboat. Bishop's <laughs> knife trick, man. All day. My clothes. Uh, my wig. <laughs> my portrait. <laughs> <laughs> Arrest these filthy peasants and bring me the head of Puss and Boots! Hey, this is a party! Where's the music? <laughs> the clink clink on beat? So yeah. dope. I wish this was my theme song. Puss yeah. and Boots has never been touched by a blade. Never been touched! <laughs> Ooh. And his pants come off. Yes. Skin that cat. You wanted it's that classic, too much. It's classic comedy. <laughs> People's pants falling down is Why a staple. Why were you so excited about that? And he did a pee like Zorro. It was perfect. But are his pants coming off or not? <laughs> oh my. Puss and Kaiju. Silly guards. Duck piles don't work on cats. Ooh, he's a martini guy? <laughs> I can see it. 
You think it's gin or vodka? Definitely gin. <laughs> Milk and gin. Oh Milk yeah. And gin. <laughs> That's the kind of white Russian I want. <laughs> well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. And the rest of you play double time. He's <laughs> <laughs> getting a little bossy for me. Really? Yeah, I don't love how bossy he is now. Like, a little too big for his britches, you know? Maybe that's part of his arc. Whoa! Oh. Ow! 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 Ow. Ah, that's like a torture method. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me if you dare. I like the blend of animation styles they've got going on. The subtle mix. Whoa. I don't know. It's making me kind of dizzy. Also, that yeah. I can see that, especially if you saw this like big and in 3D. That's what the kids like. They like a roller coaster. Kids love vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> How do you, got, you think he got his eye patch? Somebody plundered his eye and sold it for riches. Oh. Whoa. Hey, you want to see something cool? <laughs> Get your bell rung. <laughs> My man. I'm like so happy we are done with that moment. Really? Too much? <laughs> it was a lot. Sensory overload. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. Don't worry, we're just getting started. Okay, okay, one more number. I call this one The Legend Will Never Die. Oh. Damn. Taken out by a bell, too? You kind of predicted that. Get your bell rung? Where am I? Not to worry. You're in good hands. My hand. All states' hands. Liters to draw out the evil oh, humors. Wow. Suit yourself. More for me. He put a leech down his shirt? Yeah. Who knows where it landed? <laughs> you died. I have nine lives. And how many times have you died already? I never counted. I am not really a math guy, you know. Gato. Ugh. So do you think it's going to be eight? He's died eight times? He's already died nine times. He's a zombie now. No, it's going to be eight, right? It's got to be eight. It's gotta be one. <laughs> Guess it's not your night, uh, fellas. <laughs> Five aces. <laughs> I have, I have uh, dogs playing poker. Picture. Okay, this is a cute montage. I'm in. Oh! This will revolutionize travel. Watch. <laughs> Does this have shellfish in it? Oh no! God. He's allergic. The oven too high. That makes eight, Puss. I knew it. You are down to your last life. I'm very smart. Dude, you should write movies. <laughs> Is there any safe place you can go? Any special someone you can rely on in this moment of need? <laughs> yeah, the girl. This is the address of Mama Luna. She is a cat fancier, always on the lookout for a new lap cat. Oh, no. Death comes for us all. Treat. Takes the whole hey. bowl. Rude. Don't worry, he's gonna like s sprinkle him out to all the other cats of the land. Also, like the Wicked Witch of the West back there. Me? That was you. <laughs> that doctor is a quack and a crazy man. You shouldn't stick to cutting hair. All right, what's your prediction on what the last wish is? He's gonna have to give it up for something. He wants to wish for all the lives, but he can't do that. He's gonna wish for someone to love. Whoa! <laughs> Can I get your autograph? Been following you for a long time. Damn, it's cold. All right, whose voice is this? I know, I'm it's trying to piece like it together. Like Ethan Hawke or like? It's definitely Ethan Hawke doing a Spanish accent. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a Spanish accent. A little bit. All right, let's get it over with. Ooh. Fear me if bad. you dare. Oh, you know who it is? Poker face, Miss Congeniality. It sounds like him. Slow, sloppy, <laughs> Benjamin Bratt. Oh, maybe. You're not living up to the legend. Gato. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, his eyes. Yeah. That Sick. like perspective bump, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! No one. Mortality. <gasps> Spidey sense. I just love the smell of fear. Hey, Palm, in the morning. Yeah. Oh. He's experiencing fear for the first time. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> What's the matter? Lives flashing before your eyes? Yeah. Pick it up. Pick it up. Uh, <gasps> oh, buddy. Is he a wolf? Yeah. In sheep's clothing? Oh, now there. Now there. Bet he will be at some point. Or maybe that's just a wool coat. So he lost his sword. That would mess the tides up. I love a big, beautiful moon like that, but that that's... Is that how that tides work? We'll watch Cosmos later on. <laughs> You know what's really <laughs> weird? The, they call him Puss in Boots. You're saying it like it's his best friend, Puss and Boots. The Boots are John their own and Roxy. entity. Yeah. No, the Boots are just as sentient. Yeah. I am no longer worthy. Oh, He's burying the Boots? No, he's just and, and Puss no is. Boots. He's just Puss on grass. <laughs> to more a hero, to all a legend. Words were not enough. No, you're doing great. It's always great to give your own eulogy. <laughs> it's a good exercise. What did you think I'd be too stupid to know what a googly was? Who is your favorite, fearless hero? You were, you were. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost weird to see him on all fours like yeah, a cat. Yeah, yeah. Cat. I told you, health department people, there are no cats. Here. Meow. Oh. <laughs> you're not from the health department, are you? No, you're not. Oh, she is so cute. She's like Miss Swizzle. Yeah. Hop on the magic school bus. It's a bus boy, boy. <laughs> I bet you never even had a name. <laughs> I shall call you Pickles. Bathing with your dirty cat is disgusting. Yeah, I... I would take a separate shower after that. <laughs> this is the end. <laughs> Come Do none of them speak? They must not. Oh. Oh, no. This oh, no. is the end. <laughs> oh, whoa, I didn't. Right. This is a person party, Pickles. Oh, That's I your party. Oh, no. So this is where dignity goes to die. Yeah. Truly. Bummer, Pickles. I have so many questions about that bathroom scene just now <laughs> i never thought i would have to think about because where is his when he's and then you sure not yeah. so <laughs> i hear you <laughs> I, I, I just don't get why none of them can speak because they're domesticated i guess so they don't have the magic <laughs> oh no my dude got the yeah. rip van winkle beard really let himself go these are too small but these ones, these ones are just right. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> that's fun. Track that cat. Dude, that's who you should be. Totally. Just get yourself three big old burly dudes to follow you around. <sighs> Do you mind trying to eat here? I mean, meow, whatever. What's wrong with that oh, sorry. one? Sorry. It's a dog. You're a talking cat? I'm a talking cat. Let's talk. A talking cat? Like the film A Talking Cat? It definitely is a dog, right? <laughs> it's funny. Despite all this best friend bonding, you're still a mystery to me, Pickles. What's your story? My story. <laughs> Do you feel like they're socks or mittens? They're mittens. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go definitive mitten. Oh, oh. What's happening? I need the practice. I'm going to be a therapy dog someday. When people <laughs> feel bad, they can rub my belly. It'll make him feel better. This is so good. 
I don't want to touch your belly, okay? So, what do yeah. you want? I want to be left alone. This is a lovely home. I was just thinking I would literally do anything to live there. Yeah. Ah! Uh, you're back. Oh, I never left. <laughs> Who are you more similar to? Oh, uh, definitely the dog. <laughs> That would definitely be more the dog. 100%. <laughs> I never left. They found me. Whoa! <laughs> she got a Jackie O outfit on. Excuse me, my darling. We're looking for the legendary Puss in Boots. Have you perhaps uh, seen him? Too soft. Is that Winstone? Jason Statham? We'll see. <laughs> we'll take bets. I don't think we've got anything right so far. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sniff him out. You don't tell me what to do. Do as she says. Fine. But all I can smell is cat's pee. Oh, yeah. It probably smells disgusting in there. Oh, sure. I'd probably be slightly lightheaded leaving a place like this. Oh! Here we go. No way that skirt is staying up like that. It's a, it's a modesty skirt. Yeah. It's, it's rigid. Yeah. It's got Everyone wire loves a rigid in it. skirt. <laughs> How about this one? He's a ginger. You think this scruffy geriatric bag of bones looks like a legend? <laughs> I found him! Dead and buried. Dead? Well, that's that then. What say we go and hibernate? Eh? No! <laughs> we have one chance to steal it. Without it, we'll never find the wishing star. The wishing star? Oh. That star has one wish to grant. One wish? Think of what that could mean for us. Do you think his one wish is for more lives, but then he has to use it on something else? That's what I'm going with. Okay. But if this puss in boots is such a big deal, maybe we shouldn't be desecrating his grave. Uh, I don't think he will mind, because he is me. Is me. Dude. I'm so good. Predicted the movie. And this hall has my initials on it. Endlessly impressed I am. Why? What does it stand for in this? It stands for John Hall. Oh. <laughs> yes, duh. Get in and get out. Easy peasy. Little squeaky. Ah, I brought you a sword. <laughs> Not a sword. It's a stick. <laughs> it's a stick sword. Go home. I love him. Again. Oh. Not friends. Rub for luck? start using that he's us he is finally to see ourselves that's represented greg, on and screen that's us. <laughs> that is that's definitely yeah, yeah greg is definitely puss in boots <laughs> greg and boots the representation matters yeah man oh. oh i hated that oh i hate this delicious oh jh jack horner jack hall yeah you couldn't let me have that? No. Is it the map to the wishing star? Stop everything. You two, come with me. We must get this to the trophy. Oh, my God. I hate this guy. That, that's John Mulaney, I'm pretty sure. He gives me the heebie-jeebies, bro. Yeah, that character design is disturbing. <laughs> it's truly disturbing. After so many years of searching, this is my moment with the <sighs> thumb. Forever stained. The master of all magic. Hey, little Jack. Could you do the thumb thing? Like in the fairy tale? It wasn't a fairy tale. It was only a nursery rhyme. Oh. Is this real? Yeah. Pulled out a plum and said, what a good boy am I. Jack Horn is real? I think it's a real, like, nursery rhyme. I never heard that. Oh, hey. oh my God. Because you've probably heard Pinocchio way more. Barely know her. I miss his lover cat. Yeah, I've heard so much about this lover cat. She had no claws. Aww, whoa. It's her! Hey! Who's? Kitty. Pools. Kitty. <laughs> the boot. Kitty soft paws. Okay. So Maybe she got her own boots. That's what happened. You promised us our weight in gold. Ever hear of the Midas touch? Ah, oh, cool dibs! Ooh. Oh, Bummer. Yeah. Oh, I nice. situation. Our weight in gold. I hate it. It's disgusting. Well, I love it. It's distinguished. Selma Hayek? 
or Penelope, Penelope Cruz. Cruz. It's not a good look that we can't tell the difference. <laughs> you should know. You're the Puss in Boots movies expert. <laughs> you watched this less than 24 hours ago. Good call. You robbed me. You set me up. You said you were going on some spiritual retreat. Namaste. And you're <laughs> supposed to be dead. I got better? <laughs> <laughs> Crank. I can't tell she we like her. I'm enjoying her. No, I mean, like, she bad guy or good guy? Goldie? Yeah. Uh, Mediocre. <laughs> you know, chaotic neutral, maybe. The best thief has won. Huh? You're right. Uh. <laughs> she did. Oh, come on. Whoa. Her mask is sick. Yeah, I want one. Ow! I don't know why we do all the slow motion with the animation. You know, to make it feel more real. Oh. Is that a stick? What are you going to do with that? Ow! Ow, my knuckles! He's in the pies. Puss in pies. Whoa. This idiot. Oh, no, don't die. Hey, Puss, I found yeah. a sandwich in here. I think it's tuna. Dry, perro! I don't think that it's tuna, actually. Also, but he's allergic to maybe just... Shellfish, at least. Yeah. Who is this guy? I'm Puss's best friend. No, he isn't. And his therapy dog. Definitely not. <laughs> Trust me. Trust you? Like I did in Santa Coloma? Really? Santa Coloma? Si, Santa Coloma. Oh. Is that for the first movie? I don't remember if that's the name of where it was, but... I realized that she didn't take his boots, she just got her own. So he always had his boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll do it. Accept his golden gift from Boots in Boots! My man. Oh, he's getting cocky again. Oh. Oh. So, the... Oh. <laughs> cool. It's Goldilocks and the... And the bears. Is the wolf the villain in that? No. You think of Little Red Riding Hood? Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> yeah. No. Porridge is the real, real villain. villain. Too hot, Goldie too cold. Locks. Yeah. The commodification of porridge forcing this poor girl to. Wait, are we going to see Little Red Riding Hood then? Uh, hey, I was wondering. <laughs> There's an Easter eggatorium in here. Ha! It's a Halloween yeah. movie. <laughs> I'll get you, my kitties, and your little dog, dog too. too. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a pumpkin carriage. We got some Cinderella going on. Yeah. The dark forest is deep and far. Within its bounds, you'll find the star. Sueltalo. You let go. A stick. Is it bad that I want them to kiss? Not at all. <laughs> Cat kiss. They got a kiss. Cut the tension. What's your name? Oh, I've been called all kinds of things. Dog, bad dog, stupid dog, big rat, small pig, rat face, butt nugget, for brains, you know. Whoa. They're going for it. That man. was They're interesting. Edgy. But I liked butt nugget. <laughs> butt nugget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've used butt nugget before. No one's that dumb. No one's that nice. I don't trust you. Me neither. I trust him more than I trust you. No. Chase is on. I really can't stand him. This is who I want to be someday. Jack Corner? Yeah. It's because yeah. the initial thing, I want right? to be bulbous. I want my legs to be incapable of supporting my frame, <laughs> but still doing it somehow. <laughs> I got the sandwich. This must be the dark forest. Freaky. Cool design. Yeah, I love it. Is there icicles? Ooh. Oh, it's gone! It's back! Ready? One, two, after you! Wait, what? So mean. See, Puss, I can't stand you sometimes, bro. <laughs> like you wouldn't do the same. I would never. Alright. Whoa. Really? I'm like soft paws. Yeah, you are. May I please see the map? No. Yeah, Seriously? You won't let me hold it for even one minute? Nope. You've got to trust me. Ooh. <gasps> What's going on with his eyes? Oh, 
They're getting bigger. Oh, oh kitty. Really? You call that cute? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, look at her. Ooh, the lashes. Wait a second. So Oh, my God. No. With the paws. The muffins. With the hat. It's all so cute. Cute. Kiss, 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 kiss. Follow this enchanted chart. It knows your path and knows your heart. They all have good hearts. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Oh. Okay, bummer. Mordor. Over Undertaker Reach. Through the Cave of Lost Souls? Really? Let me take a look. Oh, everyone's path is different. But I don't want them to separate. Me neither. Sometimes in life you don't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes. Sorrows, mountains of misery? The abyss of eternal loneliness? No. Sheeps. Not loneliness. I don't even have a wish. But can I try it? It's going to be the easiest path. Yeah. <laughs> the rainbow bridge. Because his heart. <gasps> we skip through the pocket full of posies. What? Then drift down the river of relaxation. That sounds fun. No fair. Why does he get the good ones? Wander the fields of quick and easy solutions and... <laughs> this is your quest. I don't want to impose. You, you hold them up. <gasps> really? But don't you cross me. Or your name will be Ferro Muerto. Okie dokie. That's a bar. Dead dog. <laughs> That's less of a bar. <laughs> What's your one wish? Uh, give me a minute. It's one wish it's for, for the rest of your time. You gotta make it a good wish. Can't tell you. Birthday wish rules or whatever. Ha! I had your wish is something stupid. <laughs> 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 You're such a. This must be the pocket full of posies. Fine. <laughs> ashes, ashes. We all fall down. It's running time! Ah! <laughs> Are these actually called posies? They're, they're hydra posies. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's a good question, though. I don't know if I've actually ever seen a real posy. <laughs> I think all you have to do is stop and smell the roses. This is stupid. All I smell is bullshit. A lot of... This is an edgy yeah. family film. <laughs> well, it is Puss in Boots. It's true. That is, it is true. Back when I was a pup, me and my litter mates lived with a family. A family full of pranksters. We liked to play hide and seek, and I was always it. They tried putting me in a packing crate, a dumpster. Oh, jeez. And they put me in a sock with a rock in it <laughs> and then throw me in a river i not a hole in the sock and i swam to the surface <laughs> damn it gave you the mafia treatment you of all people should have a wish i already have a comfy sweater and two best friends i got everything i could wish for he's so cute he's gonna teach them both a little something <laughs> Oh, lovely. This is so cute. Yeah. Oh, I'm so in right now. Stop and enjoy life for a minute. Did you come up with your wish? I can't tell you. It's not going to come true. I'll come up with a wish. I'll, I'll come up with one. My wish is to know what my wish would be. My wish is to be more decisive. Oh, Oh, he's up. He's back. Oh, ah! <laughs> Dang. This looks sick. This is trippy. Start chopping! On it! Stop and smell the roses. Get the heck out of this flight, just the roses! <laughs> there he goes! Whoa! Oh my god. That was sick. <laughs> ah! Hey, dirt! All right, magical locust. Defoliate! No, it's so mean. No, Jurassic World Dominion. What are you then? A deadly fairy? Put a spell on the forest then. I, I, I judge you. I sit on your shoulder he's and Jiminy? judge he's, your action. He's Jimmy Stewart, <laughs> but also yes. I keep my secrets and I play my cards close. That's how you get a winning hand. Never trust anyone. Dang. She took her, oh, his sweater? Took his stock sweater. Hey, up. you were right. The beer is disgusting. Aw. I won't make you beg. 
Wow. <laughs> There's that handsome face I remember. The face I haven't seen since. Hey, Santa Coloma. No. So that must be. Oh, that's his hometown. I think that she met him in. This is a path to get my wish. You mean my wish? You mean my wish? No. Sorry. Um. Make with the map, or we'll see what the unicorn horn really does. Wowie. You're not gonna shoot a puppy, are you, Jack? Yeah, in the face. Why? Oh my gosh. A lot of this looks like a video game. Yeah, a little bit of video game, a little bit of that spider verse jitteriness. Yeah. A little bit of stuff that kind of looks hand drawn. A wolf? Yeah. Oh. No, go get the map. Wrong. Thanks for the map, so pose. Nostalgic pines. It's like pining for nostalgia. Eh, eh. clever. <laughs> Oh. What's wrong? Been there, honey. Oh. Oh my god, he's a therapy dog. He is. Oh, that's really sweet. Thank you, Perrito. Oh. Perrito. You left her at the altar? It was wrong. I know. I am ashamed. You should be. Just wish I hadn't hurt her so badly. Yeah. Oh, there's the wish. Don't hurt the people you love. Kitty, I lost the map. We'll get it back. We've been in worse pickles. But who told you that name? <laughs> Goldie, look. Whoa! Hey, look, the map is going all frizzly. What did you do? Give it me. Hey. No, 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 no. Oh. To find your wish, adjust your view. What you seek may be right in front of you. Oh, no. Hello, honey. <laughs> Hello, my old friend. I have missed you so. Oh. Uh. This isn't real. None of this is. Oh, no. <laughs> Hansel, <laughs> Gretel, Gretel, Goldie is great. <clears throat> Too hard. Too soft. Too soft. Just right. <laughs> Just right. How do you know that was going to happen? I'm a future seer. The day a little orphan girl broke into our cabin and stole our hearts. Aww. She's an orphan girl. World became just right. See, I want her to win too. Yeah. I told you I liked her. I think Mama Bear's Olivia Coleman. <laughs> Not yet, Perrito. Oh! You okay? See, si, I am good. So good. <laughs> ah! Soft pass saves the day. The first time I ever felt fear, I ran. It, it was a mistake. It's okay. No. It's not okay. Don't tell him it's okay. It's not okay. I didn't show up either. <gasps> Wait, what? Well, I knew I could never compete with your <laughs> one true love. Uh, Who? Yourself. Ouch. The legend. Shut the front door. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. I think she did show up. I think... You might be right. <laughs> I think that's a good call. She's letting him off the hook, but she showed up. She's giving him a chance to, yeah, rebuild. You know, I never had much as a kid. Just loving parents, stability, and a mansion, and a thriving baked goods enterprise for me to inherit. Oh. Useless crap. Sounds good. I want a pie. <laughs> Get some pie after this. All of the magic in the world oh. <laughs> for me. No one else gets any. All right, bring it over. Oh my God. Oh. oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Can't bake a pie without losing a dozen men. <laughs> oh, your wish is horrible. You're horrible. Yeah. Yep. What took you so long, idiot? Oh, his wings? Chatty, are you? Mm -mm. <laughs> Okay, you take the window, I'll take the chimney. What do I take? No, you take Looks it like easy, a, Looks like a Thomas Kincaid painting. Uh, the guard our rear. Yeah, yeah. On your six, got your rears eyeballed and covered. Hands in crew. Staring at your butts. Dogs are good at that. If you play your cards right, 
Maybe we could share the wish. Yeah. Stuck in the honey. Ooh. It's all yours. Nowhere to go, soft balls. Let's see what the map has to say. No! This is a cool premise with like it keeps changing depending on who's holding it. Yeah. Did it good there. We're coming out! Oh, get off me, you big Hold on, I'm coming to you! Brain freeze. I like that both of their boots have heels. Yeah. Major heels. Dual tap. Ooh, uh. Ooh, the wish together. Hey. Aw, this is so beautiful. No! Perrito! You go get Perrito. I'll find a way out of here. Yeah. Listen to him. Trust. You go get Perrito. Puss is going to be fine. Puss has always been fine. Especially now that he has no more lives to burn. He's going to be the proper party now that all nine of us are here. You remember this one? Who is your favorite fearless hero? I do remember this one. Yeah? It's a banger. Speaking from one orphan to another, Goldie, you won the orphan lottery. I like his jib as well. Let's keep him. What? <gasps> You've been crimed. No, wait, wait. Oh yeah. Who plays no, the shark? Not the piece. <laughs> Who plays the shark in Finding Nemo? Oh. That sounds like who this is. Party to party. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't go back to your old ways, puss. Were you really happy back then? No. Nostalgia is the number one cause of depression. Oh, he doesn't even have a sword. <laughs> You have He's become a, a scary guy. Would you call him Wuss in Boots? <laughs> Aww. Wuss in Boots? Savage, man. Savage burn. Without us, you will always live a life of fear. Oh. I do love the smell of fear. It's intoxicating. Is he real right it now, is? I think? Okay. I was there to witness all of them. All of them. All of them. It's frivolous. Oh. Boozing Boots laughs in the face of death. Oh, is he actually death? Yeah, seems like that. Oh. I'm death. Straight up. <laughs> and I've come for you, Boozing Boots. Straight up. Whose voice is this? I can see their face, too. Like, it's driving me nuts. Go ahead. Run. Fiery makes it more fun for me. Come on, wow. Soft Paws. You got to rescue my man's heart. <laughs> hey, Puss! Puss! Puss, we're here! Do not leave her. No, 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 no. 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 Puss. All is lost. What is this? The star. The star. You think it's a solid, liquid, or gas? <laughs> it is crystalline. Solid. Solid. Transition. What's your just right? What's so blasted important? I'm getting a family. That's what a proper family. Oh. And everything will be just right. Oh. Oh. oh dear. If this is something that will make you happy, we'll get you that wish. Oh. But I was in on Goldie. And now I hate her. No, it's well, just she me. She dies terribly. By the way, the only, not that you care about my wish because you haven't asked me, but the only wish What's to wish, wish for is to wish for more wishes. Sorry, I can't help it. <sighs> I'm stealing your wish. I am on my last life. I need to get my lives back. Without them, I am not. I... What? The legend? Get your lives back. <gasps> just keep them out of mine. The dog, Perito, should obviously get the wish. Yeah. <laughs> you know how I'm feeling. Dizzy. Yeah. You know, like those locked off POV <laughs> panning shots. I need your help! Duly noted, but a little busy at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Horner! 
Whoa. A lot of people get exploded in this movie. Yeah. A lot of death. Goldie, go Goldie, help. Goldie, come on. Goldie, Goldie. Oh. Goldie, don't be a big brat. No. Like I told you, baby, you're the smash. I'm the grab. Yes. <laughs> no. I mean, literally anybody but you. No, this is good. This is gonna be good. I'm glad for him. He deserves it. Maybe it's time to oh. bury the hatchet. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Put him in the bag. <laughs> you put him in the bag, bro. Yes. I've only ever had one life. Sharing it with you and Kitty has made it pretty special. One life is enough. Is enough. <laughs> Who's that? He's here for me. Oh, oh, oh. Who's getting the last wish? I need your prediction. <laughs> it's interesting they can all see death. Yeah. Maybe it's the magic of the star. <gasps> and the little dagger. Say hello to my gatito blade. <laughs> yeah. Go, gatito. Come on. Gatito ah. makes everything so cute. I know. <laughs> Oh. Dang, dude. Beast mode. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Menacing. He goes away, right? He's just gonna leave. Look death in the face and just... And, and make the big old cute eyes. I came here for an arrogant little legend who thought he was immortal. <sighs> but I don't see him anymore. Oh, with his eight other lives. The wish is yours. You deserve someone you can trust. Perrito, come on. No, no, give it to the dog. Coming out of the bag. Oh. Ah. Magic snakes. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> oh. The last wish. Starlight. Star bright. First star. I see tonight. I wish I may. Perrito. I wish I might. Please don't make that wish. Please. Oh, do, do the what face thing doing? with the eyes. Please. Oh. Seriously, are you having a hernia or something? Please. Do it, do Come it, do on, it, buddy. do it, do it. Oh, the cute. There's such pools of vulnerability. <laughs> Don't you know I'm dead inside? By the way, your nose is bleeding. I was just buying some time for team friendship. Uh, Let's go. Uh, Get him, Goldie. Teamwork. Go soft. Oh, torture. Ah. Hey! What are we gonna wish for? Ooh. What have you done? No wish? No one gets a wish. <laughs> Get it. What did I do to deserve this? Everything. I mean, Everything in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Anti-Terminator. I, I wish somebody made a wish. This is dope, but I wish somebody made a wish. That's your wish. It's full circle. One life spent with you is all that I could wish for. Please make out, cats. Cat, cat love. Let's do it. It ain't even so lame. They're just gonna hold hands. Romance isn't appropriate for children, all right? Between cats. Keep it to violence, and that's it. Sorry you didn't get your wish, Goldie Love. But I did, Mama. Everything is just right. Oh, now you've made me cry. <sighs> I love, love this little B story. Yeah. You know, if it's the same to you, I think I'll just stick with Perrito. I kind of like it oh. since 
That's what my friends call me. Aww. Perrito. Perrito. You know, to be honest, Jumper is pretty good. Yeah, but no. Well, I will keep uh, workshopping it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There literally was no last wish. What about my boat? Puss and boot! <laughs> Team Friendship. <laughs> Wiggito. Team Friendship, we did not agree to this. Yeah, it makes us look ridiculous. Too late now, it's <laughs> official. Get out, Tigo! Oh, oh. Ooh. Steady as she goes, Perrito. Steady Don't as Tigo. she goes. Where are we headed anyways? Thought that was gonna be the kiss. And to see some old friends. Oh, <gasps> Shrek? Barbara? Shrek! You think? Donkey! You think they're... Fiona! I don't think. No, no, no so more like Shrek? Some of the side characters, maybe. We're gonna go see the gingerbread man. Again? Not yeah. Humpty Dumpty. He turned into a gold egg. See... So solid, but didn't you think like there could be one wish? I think that's part of the message is that, you know, in this life, you're not going to get a magic wish. And thus it behooves you to look around past the hardships and the trials to the things that are already here to bless your experience. Sounds like somebody who's rock. definitely not getting a magic wish. <laughs> I, you know. Okay, Antonio Banderas, Selma Hayek. Selma Hayek, okay. Let's it go. Was her. Harvey Gitt, is he on What We Do in the Shadows? Oh, I, I don't know. I should have called him out. Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh. Shut Pugh. Up. There you go. Olivia, Olivia Coleman, Coleman, you got, got that it, one. Got it, got it. Ray Winstone. <laughs> that was a good one. Really good job. Is it? Okay, good, good, good. I, Different guy. I have no idea who that is. For a second, John I thought. Mulaney, yep. For a second, I thought Baby was. What? Wagner Mora. <laughs> he was in. Did you see Elysium? He's on, like, Narcos. But, oh, uh, I saw Narcos. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Probably why the voices sounded so good is they got some really good <laughs> voice people. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And it's hard because you know, it's I feel like with every animated movie, people get have different levels of support or frustration for having like you know major actors do the voices. Yeah, and where whatnot. was Chris Pratt in this? Where <laughs> was Chris Pratt? It's that, not complete that, without Chris Pratt. We have one wish. It's to have Chris Pratt voice at least half of these guys. Yeah, it's yeah. to have Chris Pratt not voice anybody ever. <laughs> you don't want to hear Rocket Raccoon Mario? I do. How'd you know? I'm excited. Yeah, me too, actually. I'm excited. Not specifically despite for that. For, yeah. Despite Chris Pratt, I'm excited for totally. Mario. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. Florence Pugh. Yeah. One and two, because, like, you're so, I am so used to seeing Florence do a, an American accent that I always forget she's yeah. British. So this is like the first time I think I've probably heard her actual, actual voice, voice throughout a movie. See, that's the closest to a kiss we're going to get. Oh, I can't believe they didn't make out. Yeah. I wanted to see some like kitty tongue on tongue. Like, meow, meow. yeah, with those like really extreme angles and stuff. Oh, yeah. Know? And the close up on the cute eyes some, and see like the little like, you know, the little. T claw things on their tongues, like you know, connecting and and velcroing together. Claw things. You just, yeah, cats have like coarse tongues. Is there gonna be a third one? I don't know. I mean, it certainly feels like it. Watching this, at least. And you think Perito's like gonna be in it? To come. Uh, yeah. I mean, oh. See, this is <laughs> this is one of the few kinds of movies where it's like if they had a sing along or some kind of thing where you could dance in the theater, yeah, I'd just be sure. like, let's do it. Maybe there'll be Get more up. songs in the next one, though. I kind of feel like the whole thing should be a musical. A full on musical. I would be down for that. I would be down Hero. for that. Hero. I can't believe how many lines I predicted in this movie. Dude, it's you should like write I wrote for it. children. I am a child. S hence, exactly, you speak the language. Sick, bro. I would watch your animated children's movie. Family, I should say. This is a family movie. And this this movie seemed like it, it wanted to push every boundary of what PG can offer you. Did it want to push the boundaries or push the boundaries? They wanted to push the boundaries. And they did push you, the boundaries. You heard it here. They pushed they all over this. so boundaries. many words. They did. Like, Perrito had a potty mouth. That. Perrito was like, beep, 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 beep. 
butthole. <laughs> like in that one sequence. It's like so many times that you're like, okay, I get the joke. But the first, the first time, time they did yeah, it, you're like, like, that's what? a real bleeped out swear word there. Totally. <laughs> like totally. A, a cunning child could piece together what he just said. What did you think? I thought this was lovely. And I've been hearing, like, again, I do not have the most comprehensive uh, viewing history of the shrek verse mm-hmm. You know, though Shrek is love, life, and all of the above. Uh, I was really dazzled and delighted by this because, you know, it's that movie that came out where I was like, okay, another Puss in Boots Shrek movie. It'll probably be a whatever. And then, you know, it's gotten these nominations and I keep hearing people say how great it is. And sure enough, this is like things like this are gratifying to me where I'm like, oh, this is fun enough, but also way more than that. Yeah, yeah. And like I thought they had a lot of really beautiful visual artistry. I thought the story was solid. And not like, hey, we got to find something else for Puss and Boots to do because this is a popular franchise. Like it made sense. Yeah, it made sense. I thought it did nice things for the characters. Like you said, I really liked the gold, like the Goldilocks B plot grew into something that I just wasn't expecting. And that was really nice to have kind of running alongside all this and to further illustrate the point. They could have easily made her a villain and that whole storyline, another villainous storyline, but it's like everybody's the hero of their own journey, obviously. Yeah. She was the hero of hers, and that was cool. I think that this is, it was better than the first Puss in Boots, uh-huh. but doesn't hold a candle to Shrek. I mean, Shrek is... Shrek is Shrek. Shrek is Shrek, and it was such like a groundbreaker at the time, because I feel like it was really on the avant-garde of like... We're bringing a, a more snappy, a more adult accessible sensibility to a family thing. And we're also being meta and crossing over all these fairy tales and stuff. And so, yeah, it's like the just the like sheer fre- like Shrek seems to have as much as it's a meme now, like it feels like it's influenced a lot in terms of just the scope of at least animated movies in America mm-hmm. <laughs> since it's come out. Yeah, totally. And also um, him and Fiona make out. So They do. They do. That's what it, apparently that matters so, a lot. So what to me you're saying anime. is that Shrek is vastly better just simply due to the makeout quotient. It is. Yeah, that is what I said. So okay. I I, I don't know if it was with tongue, <laughs> but at least I can. <laughs> I wasn't there. Okay. The problem is, even if it wasn't in the actual movie cut, someone has animated where it very much was, and you can and find I'm not it out someone. there if you want. <laughs> you're already ten steps ahead of me. But I don't know. I mean, yeah, this this I think excels just by being a good story told well, you know, which is sort of timeless. In, You've been doing a lot sense. of animated stuff. You think this holds up to or right now in 2023, the animated genre? This is pretty much as good as it gets. I, I mean, there are certainly things that you could do that are much more out there and, and you know, uh, more off the beaten path with like story beats and stuff, but as as far as like the assembly of an animated movie today goes, I would say yeah, because this manages to incorporate and blend a lot of the visual aesthetics that have been sort of at the forefront of animation lately. Again, like there's a little bit of Spider Verseiness in the way that they incorporate like the um, I forget what they call it, like the action lines where it's like somebody jumps at the camera and they've got like. S- little action lines or things that look like the frame rate has been slowed down on like a character, Mm -hmm. like the way they really mix. I feel like there's a uniformity that you get used to when you look at like a Disney animation or a Pixar movie where it's all this kind of one uh, thing. Yeah. Yeah, It's one palette of animation. Whereas here, again, there were textures that looked very drawn and yeah, yeah, yeah. So it gave it this like additional sense of handcraftedness, even though it is like all in a computer. So totally a couple times you kind of related it to spider verse, which I feel like was, uh, you were doing the most, but (laughs) I hear what you're saying. I mean, spider verse is like, I am still here. Thanks for asking puss. Oh, I thought it was going to be a whole thing. But yeah, I mean, Sp- Spider-Verse for that, yeah, like hyperkinetic, like we're borrowing from comic books and we're making it, yeah, look a little bit more multimedia than just one kind of animation style you're supposed to look past. Um, so yeah, like this will be now a new touchstone I can use in the future when talking about these things. Because yeah, Spider-Verse is like cranked up to 15, 15 yeah. on that. 
on that. It's not quite I as connected. I said 50. You said 15. That's awkward. I like Spider-Verse better than you do, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> or at least you find it more overwhelming than I do. <laughs> oh. But uh, what did you think of it? I think it was, it was really solid. Definitely, definitely preferred this one to the first one. Just because there were more layers and more characters I cared about, there was a, the big twist of the first one being that Humpty Dumpty is tricking him mm. and isn't actually his homie. And then we twist back and he untricks him and and works with him. So I thought that that was a very simple, uh, as opposed to this with like uh, the death element, uh, the Goldie element, yeah. the John with his thumb element. You know, there, <laughs> there was just more kind of going on, which I appreciated. Yeah. And also, I really like soft paws, and I love. She's in the first one too, but I loved watching their dynamic in this one. They kind of seem like a match made in heaven. And then Perito isn't in yeah. the first one, so Perito elevates this for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm big into Perito. 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 He is a dog now. I mean, a name. Yeah. And Harvey Guillen. I should have called him out too. It's like it sounds like not to you. You Guillermo. didn't know. You didn't. Know. I did. I no. I will. I will die on this hill. I was like, I can't tell for sure because I only have what we do in the shadows to go off of. But I was like, that sounds. That sounds so much like Guillermo. I feel as if right now you're lying to me. I would never have got Wagner Mora because I kept sitting there going, I know it's not Javier Bardem, but he's got kind of that like oaken quality of like Javier Bardem. Sometimes when he speaks, it sounds like mm -hmm. like a like a rich old tree or something like that. And and uh, and I never would have got him. OK, but I will die on the Perito Hill of, of his <laughs> of his voice. Acting. Perito wouldn't <laughs> let you die on that hill. That's true. That's true. He would have me pet his belly and he would do the eyes thing. He'd use his one wish to save you. I know. Instead of tearing the wish apart. Guy. You could have wished for solving world hunger. If you were going to just tear it apart, you know, you don't have to wish for yourself. You could have wished for <laughs> a better life for everyone. Yeah, anything. But instead they were like, nah, we all got what we wanted. Nobody needs this wish. That's true. They were all selfish at the end. Honestly, they're all the worst. They suck, and uh, it's a bad movie now. Sorry, wow. I just did that too. Didn't so last sorry. long. It's okay. No, this is how you were life into is. it for five seconds. This is this is a good life lesson. You know, this is what happens. You're welcome. Reality comes crashing in, and you have to temper, uh, you know, your sentimentality. Yeah, and I'm glad that you know we and the children who are watching this. Yeah, that was for you guys. Kids love the real rejects. Uh, you know, we are all learning this today and growing. For the little ones at home, what I'm saying is, if you like this movie, you are selfish, uh, angry, need to go to therapy, little child. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should uh, go out and do some community service and really think about what you did here yeah. today. Yeah, <laughs> think about what you've done think today. <laughs> But yeah, hopping back into because the other thing that was kind of fun is I know this comes out of Shrek. I've met Puss in Boots through Shrek, but it's been a minute since I've seen any of the Shrek movies. And so coming back here, I was like, oh, cool. Like the, the convergence of fairy tale characters and worlds still exists here. And it's not necessarily like as in your face or as much of the point, but it's still like it makes this feel like it's all part of a big world without feeling obnoxiously like, ah, cinematic universe, you know? That was a really fun element of it, like even what's in the bag and the references, but with the cart and the, the pumpkin and all of the, yeah. the chimney of it all, that was really cool. I like that too. Anything that makes it feel like you're kind of a kid again and you're yeah. dealing with all the fairy tales, some yeah. of the lines and stuff, I'm with you there. Yeah, because it works anyway, but if you get what the references are, it works that much better, you know? What's your favorite character? My favorite character, I don't know, I feel like it's a, it's underwhelming to say it's either, like, uh, Puss and Soft Paws are I so great. I knew you the were going to say them. Puss. Like, like, Soft Paws is, is so lovely, and I just love them together, but Puss is, like, he's great. I just love watching him. I love Antonio Banderas' voice. I love all the different iterations of his exploits and whatnot. Like, he is a very... I get why this character has spun off and why people care. <laughs> if you love Puss so much, then why don't you wear his boots? I will now, and I'm going to go back and rewatch and watch for the first time the first movie and be like, you know what, this is my franchise now. I think you're going to like the first one. I don't think you're going to like it as much as you like this one. I don't anticipate that either, but you know, I can imagine at least going in and be like, oh yeah, you know, it's pretty fun. Do you want to know my favorite character? What is your favorite? What's character? your guess? Uh, Goldie. 
Because that could be you. I did really like Goldie. No, but mine's the other lackluster answer. Soft paws. Okay. I just love her. Like she's, she's great. She's hard around the edges, but she also when w- we see her start to try to teach Perito and like listen to Perito, I'm like, you are the perfect balance of tough exterior, but like at the end of the day, you were gonna wish for somebody to trust. Yeah. That's just so relatable and. I know. But I so do vulnerable. think we should have seen this. Scene. I really feel like she didn't actually show up to the wedding. I know that she did show up to the wedding, and she's claiming she didn't. I, yeah, that would have been, it, it would have been cool to almost, like, have an interlude or something. Or, yeah, see it from, at least see from her perspective what that day looked like, too. And yeah. I went down a whole journey, and we never went down that journey. Like I was like, oh, and then what happened was, and then she was there, and then he wasn't there, and then... The sh- the movie was just like no no we just said what it was stop <laughs> stop going down that path you've you've made things up rocks that feels like something that they probably wanted to do and maybe had to trim for time yeah possibly yeah. possibly or even if it wasn't what I'm predicting any version of just seeing the wedding and whatever it is they probably cut the whole thing yeah because this is already what like an hour and forty two minutes and it, that's you know that's that's asking some again like I. From talking to animators over time, I know it kind of drives them nuts that animation gets sort of in America pigeonholed into being the thing for kids when it's like a whole medium unto itself. Yeah. Um, But, you know, I feel like being that they definitely want children in the theater for a movie like this, an hour and once you're over an hour and 40, you're kind of like, okay, we're asking a lot of the attention span. It did feel a little long. The second act dragged a bit here, and that's okay for me and you, but I do think that the first one was 90 minutes, and this one did feel like about 10 minutes longer. You know, you can feel yourself being like, okay, Let's get to that wish. What's happening here? Who's going to end up at the at the star? You yeah. know, you start to be like think about okay, okay, let's get there. Mm-hmm. And then once we get there, that third act goes really, really fast. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, like I thought they they did nicely to at least, even though yeah, like it is it is on the longer side. I think they at least managed to. There was never anything where I was like, well, just get rid of this. <laughs> you yeah, know, like, yeah. There was a lot of interesting ideas. Like, I loved the idea of the dark forest and that it changes depending on who's going through and that it kind of looks back into you as you're pursuing what you think you want out of it. What would your dark forest, if you're holding the map, what do you think it would have been? Oh, man. Oh, God. Uh, it it would have been like, walk down the, the bridge, of, bridge of wistfulness <laughs> and then... Uh, uh, Wait, I love the bridge of wistfulness. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. And so yours would have been like Perito. Around. No, I mean Perito's like got the ideal, like everything's fine and you're zen, so you know you're gonna have an easy time in here as long as you remember to look around. Whereas me, I feel like there would be like the valley of anxieties, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the the swamp of self doubt. I don't know why I just thought you were gonna say sweat. The swamp of sweat. I'm a sweaty guy. The swamp of sweat swamp. Swamp. Puss in sweat swamp. <laughs> Puss in sweats. That's who he's going to go become now. He's going to be chilling. After the pandemic, he's now puss in sweats. Puss in sweats. He puts his boots on when he has to go check the mail or whatever, but that's about it. Puss in, do I have to put my boots on today? Yeah. <laughs> that's part three. And he's dealing with geriatric issues. But that, But that too. Like, I like that. They're dealing with mortality, and he's aging, and it's, like, clever and fun because of the nine lives thing. But also, like, you know, that's a coming to grips with the fact that you don't have forever, and you can't just always be this, you know, you can't be the character you create for everybody else to see. You know, I think is kind of a, a nice and, and a bit sophisticated of an idea to go for. I think you automatically... I think the default you associate with animated fare is like believe in yourself, you know, and that's totally and it'll be that. Um, which there is some of that, but yeah, like I like the way that they had death in here, like actually personify the yes, actually confront death. Yeah. And the way they realize that, like, there's a lot of stuff that isn't like, you know, too much, but is like kind of intense and very visually striking for a movie like this, like when he f- has those encounters with death with the red eyes and then everything gets tinted red and you know you really feel the impact of these blades and and the sights and everything and like yeah there's it's really uh i mean part of this is a horror movie (laughs) 
know? That's exactly what I'm picking up and what you're putting down. It's definitely a horror movie. The death part really did work for me, too, actually, though, because I do feel like the whole time, sometimes I watch movies selfishly and you're thinking about yourself during it, right? And I kind of was feeling annoyed with Puss at times because I'm like, bro, I'm so sorry that you only get nine lives and you're on your last one and you've already used up eight of them. Like, I would die to have nine lives. You know, I would live so differently. So the whole time I'm thinking, but we only have one life. I only get one life. He only gets one life. It's so annoying that you're mad about this. And then they addressed that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm glad that they're realizing, like, when Perrito talks about it and he's like, I I only have one life, but I'm so happy because I'm with my friends. And I was like, that's it, Perrito. Tell him. Be here now, Perrito. Yeah. And then he kind of gets there where he's just like, I only have one life, but I'm going to fight for it. Screw you, death. And I'm like, yeah, that's the point. The point isn't that. You had nine. It's the point is that this is now you get one like the rest of us. Mm-hmm. So go work really hard to live your life. Yeah. Don't 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 spend all your time looking back on a the glory days, but be like, oh, if I had only had this mindset, then, you know, like just be here now and make the most out of it. Namaste. Namaste. All right. Any stray thoughts? Anything? Did we miss anything? Stray thoughts like stray cats. Stray cat strut. Were you doing that on purpose? Oh. No. <laughs> That's my my jazzier Bill and Ted. It kind of um sounded more like rocket power. Wiggity, wiggity, oh, wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, squid. You got this. It's good. <laughs> Well, guys, this was super delightful. Great voice cast, great animation, good writing. You know, punchy we guessed direction. the entire cast. We knew guessed everybody. Who everyone was in it. who was involved, and even some people who weren't involved, <laughs> we guessed them too. Above and beyond. Definitely, we covered all the bases. <laughs> well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, let us know. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Check out the World Girls. Check out Roxy Stryer everywhere. Social media books are sold. And hey, before we leave this place, let's uh, let's make a wish for a lucky patron. <laughs> Andrew Hayes, buddy. I wanted to shout you out today because, you know, honestly, this is an embarrassment of riches. I'm not sure how many. Andrew Hayes could be so many characters from this movie. And right now I'm torn because, you know, he's kind of a short guy. You know, he's kind of a compact dude, but he's also, uh, you know, he's he's got spunk. You know, he's got uh, uh, imagination. He's good picking locks and stuff. He, he he works for a security company. You think he's puss? He's either puss or he's perito because the other thing is whenever we talk to Andrew, he's just got this good-natured way of delivering things, and uh, I just always feel better when I talk to him. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, so that's the perito part. He's a combo. It's like I would rub your belly, Andrew, and, and feel at ease and feel kind of like things are going to be okay. Good, Andrew. Yeah, take that with you. He'll rub your belly. <laughs> And he means that, mm-hmm. truly. And you don't even have to do the cute eyes. Like, if you want to, you can, but, you can know. Can you try? <laughs> For Andrew. It's really good. It's really good. I don't know what's happening with the hands, but Andrew appreciates it. That's for you, Andrew. That's for you, Andrew. <laughs> oh, we love you here at the Real Rejects, and uh, stay pledged, buddy. And we'll catch you next time in boots. <laughs>yeah, is that really good? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like copper because like he'll be out there. Everyone's got a different meow, and he'll be out there half the time while we're shooting. Just meow. Oh wait, that was actually meow. bomb. What's wrong with meow. you? You let me meow when you so the last one wasn't. Good. I have to listen to that throughout the day. It's just burned into my subconscious. My magic subconscious. Puss. <laughs>